Welcome to the Addiction Connection Podcast, connecting the hope of the gospel of the heart of addiction. I'm your host, Mark Shaw, and I'm joined in studio with, by, I, yeah. I don't know the right preposition to use, but Jim Quigley is here. Doesn't matter what preposition I use. You're in. You're in. Person. I'm here. I'm here. here. I'm in Kentucky. You're in Kentucky, and our podcast is going to be a quick one, but we want to preview and talk a little bit about the upcoming summit. And if you've never been to a summit, shame on you. Shame. Oh, oh wow, wow. We shouldn't pile shame on people. It's already. Uh, don't stigmatize people. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We just did a series on stigmatizing, so we don't want to do that. Uh, but if you have never attended a summit, you are invited now. Consider yourself invited. This is the fifth annual one, and Jim was at the second, third, fourth, and Lord willing, will be there at the fifth one. He's actually going to speak and teach a little bit, which I'm excited about. Did I already agree to that? Yeah, yeah, okay. you're in. You're, you're going to do that. <laughs> and so, yeah, so he's real excited, too, as you can tell. But Super our, excited. Our yeah. dates are November 2021. This is November 4th. It's a Thursday. We had a group come one time. They showed up on Friday. They got their dates wrong. But we start Thursday night, Thursday evening. And you don't want to miss Thursday evening because it's kind of like, yes, it. you know, it's kind of like, you know, you, you start to see who's there. You start to... Put yeah. names and faces together, shake a couple hands, and but it kind of gets you, you know, in your hotel room, you sleep, and ready for the next day, Friday. And our tentative plan, I don't know if Shirley wants me to give all the details, but she doesn't. Maybe she, sure won't, she doesn't. maybe she won't listen to this. <laughs> maybe <I laughs> she won't. will. She will, 100%. So. <laughs> well, I'm going to kind of spoil a little bit of it, but our hope is to get you connected to people from your region early on, and that would happen Thursday night. Yeah. So that way you, if there are other people in North Carolina, which is where you're from, I'm in Kentucky, but somebody who might travel from Iowa, like Ben Funkhauser, he needs to know people that are close to him. Right. And, and so I love starting out with that Thursday night, um, get to know you, get to know people near you, you know, who are elbowed, you know, rolling up their their sleeves up beyond their elbow to really get dirty and get in the muck and mire of addiction ministry. It's, yeah. it's a great time. So November 4th, 5th, and 6th, but that Thursday night is November 4th, uh, and you need to be there. We'll have some worship, uh, have a kickoff talk. Uh, we won't give detail. I won't give details like that because I, right. know, I know I'll get in trouble. You there. will. I, I can't, uh, can't do that, but I'm excited about our first uh, speaker in a short talk on enthusiasm. Mm. And I can talk about that. The word enthusiasm, theos, thus, is right in the middle of that word. Mm. And so it's it's like that's where our enthusiasm comes from. It comes from the Holy Spirit. And that's going to be the theme of this particular uh, summit. The fifth one is having enthusiasm for addiction ministry and how we get there, how we do that. And one of your talks will be about that as well. I mm. can't wait. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to, I know this. Th these two verses in Hebrews 10 talk about the church, but it's true of the summit as well because we're the church universal. So I'm kind of expanding this out. But in Hebrews 10, 24 and 25, it says, and let us consider how to stir up one another to what? To love and good works. Well, if that's an addiction ministry, loving people who are kind of unloving, uh, you know, hard to love, quite frankly, sometimes, ju just due to their, their uh, stubbornness and selfishness, and good works. So we're doing good deeds. We're, we're stirring each other up to love better, to do good works. That's really what the summit's about. That's Hebrews 10, 24. And then it says, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Mm. So our focus is let's get together, let's stir each other up to love, let's stir each other up to do good works, and let's not neglect this. Let's meet together and, and be together to do it. And so uh, 
I want to ask Jim, your first summit experience. I remember you <laughs> getting up at the open mic. We kind of have an open mic time where people share different things that were going on. You remember that and what you said? Oh uh, yeah, I absolutely remember it. Yeah, because it was totally true. I uh, I uh, I just uh, shared with the group um, how encouraged I was because um, I was in a room full of my people. You know, this yeah. is like, these are my people, and you know, when you're in this type of ministry, um, it could feel pretty lonely. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like you you are you are in the trenches and you don't have a lot of support and. Uh, you know, when you when you meet other like-minded people um, uh, in this type of frontline ministry, you know they, you know, you know that they they know what your life is like. They, it's just important to have friends um, yes. that are, you know, um, uh, like-minded like you. And I'm saying, you know, I have brothers and sisters in Christ, but th- there's an element of, you know, addiction ministry that. That everybody recognizes, even people, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I was telling you the other day, like I have people that often paint me out to be some kind of a martyr for what I do. They're like, oh, mm-hmm. Jim, I just don't know how you do what you do. Now, I would say that pretty much everybody that I know at TAC, um, we none of us feel like martyrs. We feel absolutely called to do this, and we feel blessed to be able to do it. Amen. It doesn't take away from the fact that it is tough work, but we, mm-hmm. but. But um, because of the way the Lord has gifted us in a certain way, and that kind of gifting, um, uh, we, we're not, you know, have a martyr mentality or anything like that to do it. But it's fun to be around other people with that, with similar gifting like that, if that makes Amen. any sense, you know. I mean, you know, you get, a, you get if you've ever been to a pastor's conference uh, where you saw, like, like I used to go to Legionnaire. You, you remember what Legionnaire's mm-hmm. RC Sproul down in Orlando? Oh yeah. And it was all these these pastors I used to like to listen to. It was the funnest thing watching all of them up on stage talking to each other. It's a lot like that, you know, but in a different kind of context. A yeah. whole bunch of people that do this type of work or are interested in this type of work or want to know how to better support this type of work because this is important. And uh it is. Yeah. So well and we're going to highlight programs like Freedom Farm, which Jim is executive director of. We want to highlight Through the Gate, which is a great ministry for women uh, that uh, is in Indiana and doing fabulous work under the direction of Steve Covington, who's a dear friend and a, just a great brother in Christ. Um, the, we divide people up. So executive directors like Steve and Jim and others will be in one room. Your program directors, those guys that are um, maybe not at the executive director financial level, but they're more leading the programs and the guys and the and, and equipping the leaders in the ministry and teaching the, the men or women in the ministry. Program directors in another room. We'll put pastors in a third room. We'll put female counselors in a fourth room. We'll put male counselors in a fifth room. Uh, and if we have lots and lots of them, we may have a sixth and seventh room. Uh, we just divide people up by their station in life, uh, their their calling, where God's got them, with other people from around the country. And I think the the most we've ever had, we've had 26 different states represented at one summit. Uh, and we try to keep the, the summit numbers sort of low just so that people can mix well and get to know each other. But this year, we don't really have a, a restriction or a limitation. So we could have 10,000 people at the summit. Uh, we won't. 10,000? 10, 10,000. I mean, you got to go high. You got to aim high. Uh, I, I may have to renegotiate my speaking fees. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to quadruple them instead yeah, of just tripling quadruple, them. Quadruple, that's yeah. right. Yep. Um, <laughs> zero times zero times zero <laughs> times zero. The uh, yeah, so we're we're fired up about it. Uh, we've been talking about it a little bit with Shirley and some of the details and that, and pulling it together. But um, enthusiasm in addiction ministry so important to to not lose that because that's really God in the middle of that word enthusiasm. Mm. And if you lose enthusiasm, you've lost God mm. in what you're doing. And I know it's wearisome. I know it's tiring. I, I get fatigued and tired in, in what I'm doing, 
uh, from time to time, and I'm not in direct addiction ministry other than we have a group on Monday nights here at the church, but uh, um, this kind of keeps me in touch with it, talking to guys like you who are in the trenches dealing with, really dealing with the same things almost every day. I mean, everybody thinks it's so, you know, but uh, you're dealing with hard-heartedness, stubbornness, deception, Mm -hmm. all those kinds of things, and it is important to have the right vocabulary and and, and that kind of thing. Um, But I encourage you to come to the summit, find uh, rejuvenation in Christ, in his body, in the people that will be there, and think about how you can stir other people up. Yes, you'll be fed, but you need to come also with a mindset of, how can I serve and help other people and encourage them? That's what I love about it. Those breakout rooms where you're in there and you're encouraging one another and praying for one another, getting to know people and have relationships, that's what that's a big goal for what we're doing. We're building a tech network, but it's really a tech family. Mm. That That's what it's all about from my perspective. And so there are a couple of workshops and, and things like that, but the emphasis this year is more on relationship building, awareness of other programs and and um, and other people. And, um, and really the emphasis is less on knowledge and more on the stirring one another to love and good works. That That's where we want to be. We want to be a practical group. Amen. So the summit is coming. Make your plans to come to Florence, Kentucky, November 4th. That's a Thursday night, Friday all day. Saturday, we're usually done by 1230, so you can enjoy the rest of your day or travel back wherever you need to go. We should have some international folks. I think Joshua Brunk at Village Mercy in South Africa is coming. So he, he's planning to come, Lord willing. You awesome. Know, things can change. Uh, I've I've recruited my friend Terry McCutcheon in Scotland. I hope he can come. I don't know what the travel situation will be like, but we'd love to have him come from Scotland. Absolutely. And uh, I have some other friends overseas that do ministry. I don't know that uh, they can come this year, but uh, it's really becoming an international thing as much as it's a national thing. But we need each other. Absolutely. So, all right. Well, thank you for joining me on the podcast. We will end this one early. Take care and God bless. Thanks, John. Yeah.